we're going to talk about the divine feminine today. Um, when you're on this path, you hear lots of different terms thrown around, talked about, discussed. And we talk about the divine feminine, we also talk about the divine masculine. And it's a bit like yin and yang. We need the two to balance. We need the two to work in a good way and in a happy way so that we can move forward in the best possible way that works for us. So the divine feminine is a sacred energy that's it's in us all. Um, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, we all have it in there and we all need to access it. We all need to focus on it and work with it. So our, our consciousness divides our masculine and it divides our feminine side and both are needed to achieve what we call our highest potential spiritually and creatively. So for the divine feminine, it's that connection with that nurturing side, our intuition, our empathy. It's also associated with creativity, the creation of life, and the world around us, our community that we're in and our community that we create as well, our feelings, our thoughts, our emotions, and also that collaboration that you might have with others in your circle and where you wish to be. So by combining the divine masculine and the divine feminine in the healthiest and best way possible, it creates balance and harmony for the path that you're on and the direction that you're going in. So qualities of the divine feminine, it's the emotional aspect, the emotional side of us, works on our right brain. It tends to be about actions that are oriented to enjoy joy, to enjoy joy and happiness rather than a, a physical outcome that we're aiming for. It's for emotional strength, for guidance. It's also associated with that concern of sacrificing things for the greater good, for you to achieve things and you're quite happy to sacrifice things yourself so that you can achieve that greater good. Tend to be more extroverted and, and open, but also vulnerable, nurturing, tend to be cooperative and you would rather be than do. So you would rather be who you need to be rather than actively doing things and pushing through things. You know that you need to just stop, listen and be rather than do all the time. Associated with feeling gentle, finding that sensitive side and also it's defined success by relationships rather than physically achieving things. Connection more with your creativity and you tend to use your intuition when it comes to decision making rather than the practical thoughts of how you should do things. When you're connected well with your divine feminine you find that you're more focused on the emotional world that you're in and your inner being. You tend to be more inspired and empowered. So when the balance of the divine feminine and the divine masculine are working well and flowing, it will create new ideas, it will birth new positive and possibilities for you throughout creativity. It will promote unconditional love. It will provide safe environments for those that may be in need and it will also bring you more in tune with the, the natural rhythms of Mother Earth that is around us. So some ways that you can help to express your Divine Feminine. Honour your emotions, accept them, work with them and know that they are there to be listened to. Trust your intuition Follow that gut, follow that sixth sense rather than what other people are telling you you should be doing. Love your body and love you because you are the supreme being, you are the supreme divine feminine that you are allowed to love. Allow your inner self out, allow yourself to embrace what you want to be and allow that to just show. And show gratitude for life, for all that is around us and all that we can create. Create your own sacred space that you want to work in and you need to find. 
and use your creativity and your imagination. Know yourself and most of all, honour being a woman and embrace that divine feminine because you will then create the balance between the divine feminine and the divine masculine.